Is Lurking still playable in LOR? I haven't seen it for so long. I actually don't know. <laughs> oh no. Double K. Hey guys, if you're looking for tournaments, learning calls, and a best of three ban helper, check out Mastering Rune Terra in the link below, and you can use coupon code SNUI for 10% off of subscriptions. I got the diamond with Lurking. Yeah, I, th I think it's still gonna be pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be broken though, in the means. <laughs> Watch out. Lurk is too much RNG. Uh, it's not an RNG deck. No. I, I, I get why people feel that way, but it's, uh, it's not. Lurk is actually pretty good against Kai'Sa if you get a bit of luck and don't miss Lurk. Yeah, I could see that. Man, I'm good. How is it not RNG? What, what do you think... What's the RNG aspect of Lurk to you? What makes it RNG? Is Lurk going to run that one drop cultist that predicts? I think there is a, a good chance they are, yeah. Hitting Lurk blind the first couple of turns, that's what the deck is built to do. That is not RNG. If you have like 36 Lurk cards in your deck, it's expected to hit Lurk. Lurking into Piker Rek'Sai is a high roll. It's not RNG. Yeah, I would argue that Yetis is a, is a, is a much, much bigger offender when it comes to high rolls. It is expected, but you can win lose if you do not hit it. Uh, yeah, you're right. You can also win lose games if I if I never draw if Zillion is like the bottom three cards of my of my deck and I miss him in every predict, I, I lose then then too. That happens. Is depending on me. High roll is RNG. It, yeah, there, there is an RNG component, sure, uh, but it's not an RNG deck. I don't know why I attacked that. That was not a good attack. No. Build Fodder in general is just good at high rolling. That doesn't mean it's an RNG deck, guys. Y you can also play play uh, Plunder. You can you can play three Black Market Merchants and it can steal your win con from your deck, and the opponent can win the game because of it. You got high rolled. Sure, it's luck. It's RNG. But the deck is still built to function outside of that. And it's the exact same with hitting Pyka Rek'Sai. You can hit Pyka Rek'Sai, you hope you're hitting them because that's why they're in the deck. And you're just predicting to increase the odds of actually doing that. Lurk is absolutely not an RNG deck. It's not built to function by having good RNG. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikathia. Hey boss, just came over from your YouTube. Just wanted to say you've got great content and we'll be sticking around. Awesome! Welcome to the chat. Good to have you here. That 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 felt pretty bad for opponent right there, I think. So we're gonna swing here. If they if they sacrifice this, which they will probably have to, we can deny their uh, 12 mana turn. So we deny their warm up. Fat boy looting for the prime sub. Do as I say when I say it. <laughs> it finally happened. It's finally happened. Oh. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. No more K. I am evil K. I don't have mana for it either. Oh god. Oh god. It's over, Chad. Oh. Okay, so instead of Playing 11 time bombs, we're gonna play 11 crystals. That, uh, that sounds like a plan to me. Do we deny that? 
I actually don't think we do. Not. We just need a quick set of four crystal. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's totally winnable. Totally winnable. Sure to save Wait, what was my predict though? Wait, what? Okay, well we're we're getting there, I guess. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's play you. <laughs> oh my god! So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. A change is coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Let's just attack. All right. Oh god, that's funny. Shouldn't wait for quick set. We get them all back anyway. And as it is right now, I think that's lethal. I think that's just lethal. Oh, they all cost two though. Damn. <laughs> Man, we're we're literally beating the final boss. Alright, here we go. Alright, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? The first two will kill Eldred, and then these two will hit for damage damage. Bomba. <laughs> it is the skin. It is the skin. <laughs> are we actually just beating Lord Eldred with the time bomb printer? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's close to over, but it's not over yet. Okay. So we, we have to play this one. We get one back next turn this way. Oh god, that's so funny. Are you serious? No way! How did we win this? There's no counter to this deck. Even the ultimate counter couldn't do it. Right, did you? <laughs> I think we played like 10 crystals there. Oh my god. Yeah, it's time for me to buy a lottery ticket after this then. Jeez. Oh, the zillion matchup. Let's see. Alright, full mulligan. Get the cats. Get the. <laughs> the, the problem is, when I played zillion time bomb printer in the last patch. I would play against Echo Zillion decks, and they would always get their time bombs before me, even though my deck was literally built around trying to draw as many time bombs as fast as possible. But we have to skin. Yeah, see, they got the cat, so we're screwed. There's no way to win anymore. We did a full mull. So th this is actually pretty rough. It, it, it's actually kind of hard. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Oh, nice one's of time. The possibilities are endless. Do you have the cats in this for the alternate hex? Yeah, absolutely. Like, cats are a win con. Without the cats, this deck would not really be that good. Is it better to have Telstones and Crying Sands in that deck? I don't have it in mind. Um, so I had one Archivist, but I just cut it because it got nerfed. So I'm, I'm trying this. I don't know if it's better. 
But after the Reese printer, we're gonna try again tomorrow. I think I need to build that deck from scratch and not look at chat too much, <laughs> to be honest, when I'm building it. There, there, there's a lot of ways to make a deck sweeter, and I will agree with a lot of comments in chat in that regard, but making a deck better and actually consistent to pull off is an entirely different story. Gwen loses to Malphite and Malphite loses to Papercraft, but Papercraft loses to Gwen. Rock, paper, scissors. Does Malphite lose to... Or does Gwen lose to Malphite? I'm not even sure if that's true. Alright, wait, did they play Ancient? Oh, wait, they have it, right? Did they play Ancient Prep? Oh no, time's right, okay. Time is winding. Like a walk. Did you just Xenotype in this deck? I have it as two of them, it's really good. I feel like you could play it. As a two of, yeah. Uh, there's like two or three slots in this deck that are very flexible. And Xenotype could fit there. I don't love it, but it's 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 doable for sure. Have you played any paper craft decks? I have not, and I'm not really planning on doing so. I uh, I don't like attach units that much. Which I guess is funny to say now that we have equipment coming, but I... Uh, pa Papercraft Dragon, Yumi... The elusive attach unit, they all left a really bad taste in my mouth, and I just, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much over it. So far, new equipment don't grant keywords, so it might be less toxic. I mean, there's the dragon one that gives fury. So. Got a good feeling about tomorrow. About to, yeah, no, killing Zillion is still pretty good. Lobster with the rate! Yo, how you doing, buddy? Hope you had a good stream. We're, we're playing the most interactive deck on the planet. These are my streets. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, by the way, chat, in case you guys weren't aware, me and Lobster did a little collab, and it was awesome. It involved a lot of puff caps. <laughs> Mikio, thank you much for the prime sub. Seriously, thank you for the rate. Hope you had a good one. At least if it doesn't grant elusive scout double attack, we should be fine. Riot probably learned from their past mistakes, so uh, I don't think we're gonna get any elusive equipment now. And a fantastic treasure card? Absolutely, yeah. Puff caps, deep, and flat brom, I guess. Yeah, I had a lot of fun making those cards. All right, level zillion. <laughs> And future. So, the play here... Wait, what's the play here? How do we kill Echo? When do we kill Echo? Is it better to kill Echo next turn or to turn after? Hmm. Let's play this and pass. Do you think Paper Tree would be more viable since it works with equipment? Paper Tree works with equipment, is that confirmed? So these two die. Uh, the thing is... No, I think we pass here. Sure. Any equipment probably would be Fading Blade or Shadow Blade. Wonder what it will give. It gives Ephemeral because, uh, that, yeah, it's Ionia and that's the only way to, uh, to nerf that deck. And I know my path. Big boy. So opponent played two scrying sands already. They could play quicksand here. Man, oh. I love this board. Yeah, I love this board too. I if they pass here, I don't think they have it. Oh, cool. Alright, that works. I think we just win. I love K's laugh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Whoa, wait, that's a lot of damage to take. Another 
Oh, did it just not want to give us board space? Nah, that's, uh, that's GG. And then you burn him down with the level zillion. Yeah, we kind of went off here. I mean, we drew two time bombs early, so, you know. Quality voice acting. That's something Rune Terra just has going for it. Rune Terra voice acting has been absolutely incredible on like 90% of the cards. I, I remember, I think this was two years ago, though. It was the Vanguard Redeemer. You guys remember Vanguard Redeemer? What? Wait, opponent just hit two crystals and a draw border. Excuse me? Oh. All right, we'll do one. Uh, so I actually can't use this yet because I want to do it when opponent uses their right. If they have a right here, okay. It doesn't matter if our board dies because of the that, that was one hell of a predict. That was everything. Uh, okay, GG. <laughs> yeah, nice predict, buddy. There was nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, the Vanguard Redeemer voice got changed. It was like really passionate and loud. And it was like, today we turn the tides of war. Say for content. <laughs> it's a Felios. What's up? Um, yeah, no, this is actually something I learned from my good friend Raran. You guys might have heard of him. He, uh, he makes pretty amazing content for Hearthstone. And um, content is more important than LP, to me at least. So. It's my first day of playing the game. Do you have any advice for me? Just have fun. Um, I don't know if you have any experience with other card games, but I would recommend just going to a uh, site like Mastering Rune Terror, Rune Terror AR, look at some champions that are playable, that look fun to you. But don't force anything. Have a good time. If you play League, find the champions you enjoy playing there. Yeah, just take it easy. Game's good. Are you planning to make an LOR tutorial anytime soon? I actually was, but I uh, I shelved that like three different times. I was talking about that with Nicky Boy recently. Actually, he uh, he asked me how often I I work on a video and then just drop it like like when the video is three minutes done and then you're just like ah this sucks I'm not finishing this and that happened twice with the uh, tutorial I was making. Do you think Wine Light is death combined with Baboom nerf? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I, d I mean, I think both cards individually are not dead. I think the, de the deck itself, though, it's gonna be hard making that work. Oh my god. Man, I hacking love careful prep. This card is so sweet. Are you planning on doing a Zill time bomb printer guy feel like you did with Lurk ones? I actually have one. Legend. Let me, uh, let me link it. It's it's a it's an easy video to miss. Is that? Did we just kill three Zoe's? Wait, we killed three Zoe's. <laughs> Man, kill the child. All right, here is the Zillion Guide. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. There you go. I've been doing shorts, and I'm going to be doing more. However, my YouTube is flooded. With card reviews, with uh, gameplay. Why not block the Zoe? Uh, Time is wasting. <laughs> I don't know if you're a new player or not, but Zoe's elusive, so you can.
Is your man from boning the bears to killing children? Yeah. Alright. Every Zoe has just died. Why not? Yeah, no. Why not tell the child to go back to bed? The child did go back to bed. That's where Zoe went. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Zoe's sleeping right now. Have you faced Scargrounds with this deck? I have not. And the day I do, I will retire this deck. Same with the day I face, uh, face Lord Eldred. Lord Eldred giving the Nexus tough and all allies tough is uh, makes it impossible. <laughs> For two mana, I don't think they can do much. Yeah, it is smart of opponent to kill uh, to kill the 4-4 four four because that was going to be an open attack. We already have a quicksand. I don't think we need another. Why not copy time with Evil Imperfectionist? The, the spell is much better because this can be played, well, first of all, with spell mana and it's at focus speed. So I, if I play a time bomb, I give the turn back. This is literally more time bombs. It's the exact same thing. Except you, it's much easier to use. The, the the order you usually want to go in most games, you pick right a passage, then crystal, then time bomb. But against specific decks, you go for the for the crystal. The only downside with copying crystal is that they don't uh, they don't cycle themselves. Time bombs also draw. Keeping initiative is important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is. I I just don't want to give my opponent a turn, and playing spell mana is also just really good. Don't forget Zillion Gift New Spell. I, It's good. It's a good buff. It's not... It's a buff to most other Zillion decks. Not necessarily this one. Uh, okay. So Zillion does die here. That's a pretty good card to find against this deck. What do you think of today's reveal? Awesome. Yeah, really liked it. Um, the, I, I'm not sure what to think about the three... Uh, Equipment synergy cards, but the I forgot the name. The the, the, the it started with a G. The, the Gatalyzer or something. The one that's uh, the equipment that gives spell damage, and even the the vessel that draws cards for how much damage you did are super cool. The spell's pretty useful for shuffling the fleeting. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it is useful. The thing is, just with this deck, you're trying to kill your zillions, right? It, it's definitely good. It's just that most other Zillion decks actually just really, really suck when you get Zillion stuck in your hand. Hexbliterator fight. Yeah, I like that card too. It's, uh, that's pretty big. If we had uh, one more mana, we could literally copy this and kill our opponent. If we had one more mana, chat, we would have this card right now. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine that? If we had one more mana? Oh, I'm sad. Did I freeze? Watch out. Do not stray. At three, this is dead. I think it's unlikely we can do six here. We can do three. So we'll just play the regular time bombs because they're worse. Again, we have a live zillion. Uh, what have we played this turn? We played Rite of Passage. Yeah, we'll play this. We get it back anyway. Okay, so this is dead. Uh, this is at three. So we're, we miss one damage. If we had some spells, if we had some of the one mana spells, we could we could have killed this. There is a there 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 is a good chance that our opponent here plays um, atrocity. I don't want to no I don't I don't want to copy. It's too dangerous right now. Uh, 
No, I can't transform because if they have atrocity, it's just really bad for us. If I had right, I would have considered it. Why not make him a 1-3? There's no need, guys. There's no need. Our hand is good enough to uh, to make this work. Hmm, that's big. When we look ahead, we know how to this is enough to win the game. Oh, the opponent does have uh, star shaping. Usually when they play both, uh, or when they play one trifecta, they don't have star shaping. This could make it a little rougher to win without Zillion. We'll see. In this timeline, yeah. we're sure so we have, uh, we have three Damage to everything at focus speed right now. What you stop the immortal fire? Okay, if we draw another one mana card, it's really good. We need that one before. It doesn't really matter. Probably. I'm just scared of even more star shapings. Uh, there's a pretty good chance they run three of them. And that's a lot of damage to get through. Yeah, this time bomb printer deck is pretty fun, but it is uh, it's a rough one sometimes. We. We probably have to use this to copy something insane. Robofish, thank you for the prime sub. Minus four. So this has died. So if we kill it again, it's gone forever. In that case, let's play this. That's a zillion. I don't think we want our Zillion back right now. I don't think it matters. This is our final sand. It's gonna be a three. I think we have to kill this manually. Yeah, it's a uh, quicksand is not hush, so it, it wouldn't die. So, they have 12 mana. We're at 6 HP. Listen I can't. To me. I'm, I'm too scared of atrocity. Nah, I'm trying to play around atrocity. So I need to keep mana up for this. So, technically, if we find enough of these one mana spells, we can just kill our opponent at focus speed. Oh, wow, healing that. Okay. That, that for sure means that they have... Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Opponent's healed for 10. Heal is cheat. Okay, we have Zillion, so we're gonna play this, and we're gonna play this. So we can get them back next turn. Do you think that Rite of Pass is uninteractable? Yes. <laughs> I do. It's a pretty dumb card. But this deck is inconsistent enough that it's... Not as problematic as some other things, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's a bit of a dumb card. It definitely can. Be. So there, there is a chance that we get lethal right here. Okay, so we attack here. How to make it interactable? <laughs> make it fast speed, I guess. I don't know. There's not really a good way. My opponent needs their third star shaping or a guiding touch. I think I think it's fine the way it is. It's not like 
super powerful, but uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's good. Sunny just bombed a 30 HP Nexus. Yep, yeah, we, we, we bombed for 30 damage. We did. <laughs> Oh my god, they actually had the third one! Are they still dead? Yeah, they're still dead. Alright, GG. <laughs> yeah, who would win? Who would win? Celestial god beings or one sleepy old man? Alright, GG. It's a good deck! It's a good deck! GG! <laughs> oh man, losing against this sucks, man. Oh, GG. Man, beautiful. Perfect. GG. <laughs> <laughs>